Here's a quick rundown on how Totem is played. Totem is a game for 2 to 4 players. The aim of Totem is to use the different animal cards and their abilities to build totems that score you points. The player with the most points at the end of the game wins. The first thing is to set up the deck with the correct number of cards to match the number of players playing. You can find details about this in the rulebook. Once the deck is set up, shuffle and deal 6 cards face down to each player. Then, place the deck somewhere in the table where everyone can reach, along with the coloured wooden totem pieces. Then, give the leader token to the tallest player, or whoever wants to go first. The leader token determines ties if the players play the same cards, and is passed clockwise after every round. Each animal card in the deck has its own unique abilities and effects in regards to tokens and points. We cover this in a separate video, so for now we'll continue. Ok, so how does a round work? First off, you play your cards. Play as many cards as you like from your hand face down. All the players can play their cards when they're ready. The player with the leader token is expected to go first however. Once down, they can't be changed, so don't let the other players see them. The cards the player chooses to play must all be of the same animal type. But players are allowed to lie about this. Lying is a big part of the game but also has its consequences. But we'll talk more about that later. Although you can't see what cards they've played, the number of cards they've played might give you a clue as to what your opponent is planning. Next up, it's the announce phase. In this phase, the player with the leader token reads aloud the animals in the resolve order. You can find this on the back of the rulebook as a quick reference. The order goes like this. Wolf. Eagle. Bear. Moose. Ant. Frog. As the animals are read aloud, players will announce the number of cards they've played as well as the animal type they've played when the animal is called. For example, when the leader calls Wolf, and you've played free wolf cards, just say yes, free wolves, so everyone knows what you're playing. Remember, keep your cards face down even if you're telling the truth. Don't give it away just yet. Now, let's talk about lying. During the announce phase, you might have played free cards that are not the same animal type. But you still have to announce something. So, Still announce the number of cards you've played, but when you're lying, just pick an animal type you fancy when that animal is called. You might say, yes, free ants, when ant is called, without a single ant card in play. You'll get three ant tokens if everyone believes you, so long as you don't get caught in the next phase. The challenge phase. After everyone has announced their cards, players are then free to challenge their rivals to see if the cards they announced are the same as the ones they placed on the table. To challenge a player, just say, I'm challenging you, to the person you think is lying. There's a great benefit if you catch them out. When you challenge a player, they reveal their cards. If they were lying, their turn ends immediately, and the cards are placed in a separate discard pile meaning they don't resolve any animal abilities and won't get any tokens to score points with. They also won't get any new cards at the end of the round, so they'll have to make do with the hand they've got. Sounds good, right? But challenging a player doesn't come without its own risk. If the player is telling the truth, then roles are reversed and the challenger's turn ends and their cards are discarded instead. The challenge phase can be a powerful tool for anyone with a good poker face, but remember, all cards remain face down unless they are challenged. The final phase is the Resolve phase. In this phase, the animal cards played are resolved in the Resolve order, the one we mentioned earlier. You resolve your animal cards and enact their abilities for each card you played, giving you the chance to add your own totems or to mess with your rivals. The resolve order is really important as animal abilities work in this order. For example, wolves will attack before anyone gets the chance to protect themselves with an eagle. If players announce the same cards, their effects are resolved clockwise from the leader token. 
As cards are announced, be sure to change your strategy on the fly. With the tokens, you can stack them to form neat little totems. Add to an existing totem or start a new one, but know that you can't build any more than five. After the resolve phase, we prepare the next round by discarding all played cards face down in the discard pile and each player brings their hand back to six. The leader token is passed clockwise around the table and the new round begins. Remember, when a round ends and a player has five complete totems using the yellow eagle token, the game is over and it's time to count up your points. Complete totems are worth a full amount of points, but incomplete totems only get you half. This is of course rounding up. Only the eagle can protect you. This concludes our brief video on how totem is played. We hope you enjoy our game. Thanks for watching.